So I picked this up on the return table. It was $75. I think they normally go for $120, and then you're going to want to buy the $20 two-year replacement plan. So thought I'd try it out. It's got a five-day return on it. So far, it's uh, not disappointing. I believe the blade may be a little dull, but uh, it's doing pretty good. Got a fire going. I've got to finish cutting this up, so uh, I have the lady whose yard I'm doing. I'm going to have her uh, record me uh, with this chainsaw in action. And uh, so far, been completely impressed with the Atlas line. This will be the fourth Atlas tool I've purchased. So, get it going here. Yeah, so once again, this app is trying to record sideways. So, you know, it cut no problem. I, like I said, I believe that blade might be a little dull. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear in the video or not. It would rev up uh, so the battery can detect when it's actually cutting through something thicker and uh, give it some more power. So I'm going to get this all split up, get it over into the fire. And probably knock that one out next and then we'll check uh, see how the battery's at all right so came over here and got that one finished up those cut the uh, pieces into smaller pieces still three bars so pretty impressed with this I am gonna throw a, another chain on there it, it is a little dull uh, I, I bought it used what do you expect but uh, you know I've never purchased anything used from Harbor Freight. Notice there's three circles that have been put on the plastic here. So is that how they mark that an item has been returned? Uh, you know, to keep it coming back from the stores. Somebody claiming it's new, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, very impressed with Atlas. This is just a quick overview. Uh, good good professional label raised in the uh, molding like all their other Atlas brand. Now whoever uh, had this before me really used it pretty good. I mean, you can see it's some of the labelings come off there on the bar. And, uh, a lot of bar and chain oil everywhere on this so uh, I don't know if it's because this leaks or if just because the previous owner was sloppy with it. Uh, but I'll give props to this good rubberized grip because it was covered in uh, bar and chain oil. I tried wiping some of it off, but no slippage whatsoever. I use this both bare hand and with a glove. And that's that's a good grippy handle on there. So, of course, you know, there's your safety release and got the chain lock as well. So... Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm still continued impressed with Atlas. Now, this is the fourth tool. I know this is short term, uh, so you know, we'll see. I'm getting near the end of the season here, it won't be till uh, next spring when uh, I get to using this uh, on a more full time basis. Somebody had asked me about this STP bar and chain oil, this is also the first time. I have used it, and uh, I don't know if you can see the little blue in there. So it has a, it does have a darker color to it. Uh, so I, I haven't experienced any problems. So uh, I guess maybe having that darker blue hue to it uh, 
Makes, maybe makes it easier to see that it is working properly. I these I can't see through here. I can't tell when that thing's full or not. I got to open the cap up. So I don't know. I guess periodically when you can see that you have uh, your uh, chain oiled there, that life's good. So uh, got nothing bad to say about it. I don't know if long term if it's a good oil or not, but uh, I do like having that. Uh, blue hue to it makes it easier for me to see that the I'm not out of oil